Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all see we got a camera now. <laughs> you also got a vision line. So if you hear me lisp, like a lisp, it's these. Check out my grill. They finna be straight. I don't wanna hear you. Oh, you oh. Worry about your mama, not me. Who we gonna say that every time? Don't pay my bed no more because I got out of it. Went to therapy and didn't clean it up. Don't worry about me. But the topic is today is something that all the girlies want up. Girl, how you can't free here? Let me tell you, I didn't got free wigs. I done got free bundles. Let me show. You don't believe me? Oh, girl, you don't believe me? I keep it in the bag. Uh, because I'm probably gonna sell these. This is so good, girl. Boom, boom, boom. That's a 20. A 22. A 24. Yeah, I got them bundles. It's Brazilian here. Um. I got these bundles, which, ooh, these, these bundles right here, these are supposed to be my birthday bundles, but I didn't feel like putting the whole week together, if you watch my birthday vlog, right here, or there, I think it's right here, you will see that they're just putting the closure on my old 32-inch wig, but... It was supposed to be this, cause this here, I wish I could feel like it's so silky and smooth, but I got that for free. 20, 22, 24. Free, and you made a towel. I know she rambling, she talking, she, she not getting to the team. We want to sip it. I did reviews. Yes, yes, yes. I got free hair. It costs 175, almost 200 for just writing a paragraph. Ugh, you have to write a paragraph because the company's gonna be like, "Well, we need my girl." But a paragraph, yes. What we learned how to do and what? What grade you learn how to do a paragraph in? What first grade? I guess first second. Um, I don't remember that was so long ago. But yes, I got wigs. I got bundles. I got full wigs, bangs, all it. I'm not going to show y'all all the wigs I got. I think I got... I think I got a good 14 wigs. And I could have got more, but I didn't want to do them no more. It's not that I want to do them no more. I just... I don't be feeling like coming up with something different in a paragraph. Like, it's a little tricky. It's it's tricky to an extent. It's not tricky, but it's tricky. So let me stop dancing around the topic and let's get to it. It's been four minutes. Let's get to it. All you have to do is this. You have to have a following. That's step number one. You have to have a follower. I'm not saying you gotta have million followers and nothing like that crazy i'm just saying you need to have social media like instagram it's i don't know if you do this on facebook but instagram um tiktok um amazon account yeah you need to have those three things or at least instagram and amazon so which what i started off doing because the company that first sent me them bundles saying that they had um ambassador spots open and i never knew it was a tab that you can go to on amazon and message the people that sell hair and they send you little sneaky messages it's not sneaky but it's not like through the way that you would contact the seller i think it's like i think it is but i don't know i've never looked on something like that i don't know but this little, little part where you go in your about and you scroll down and then you, I look at my phone, it's charging though, I need, to, I need to charge. But you scroll down, and I think it says something like, account messages. 
and then like you gotta click over to sellers or something like that. And you gonna see, you may be getting messages from hair sellers and you don't even know. Cause I didn't know. But it says something about free hair. I said, oh, I want some free hair. Cause it's already bought bundles from them. And it was all right. So there was like, you had to, we'll send you free hair. Oh, what, you need WhatsApp too. I'm sorry, back it up, back it up. WhatsApp, Instagram, maybe TikTok, and Amazon. Four accounts. And WhatsApp is like an app that you contact these Asian vendors or these Indian vendors or wherever you want to go. Like contact people that's not in America. And they're going to be up later than you because, you know, it's night. When it's day for us and day for them was night. Yeah. So I ain't had no job. And I was just like, I'm up at two or three o'clock in the morning anyway. You must contact these people. They'll start messing you around like nine o'clock up. I think until like five in the morning here in America. I'm in Philadelphia, so New York time, that's my time. I don't know. You maybe have messages from me, you don't even know. Alright, so you getting a message from the people. What do I say? That's what you asking me. I wrote a paragraph and I like copied and pasted my paragraph. And as I kept doing it, I kind of like stretched the paragraph out that I would write to vendors. Because I'm like, alright, I'm writing people on Amazon and I'm messaging like companies, but they're not really getting back to me. The whole time, this is what you have to do. Step two. You make a paragraph and you put, um, hello, my name is, whatever your name is. You don't have to put your last name, but I think it was formal to put my name, Shaniva, put my last name. And then I put, I'm writing you to see if you had any ambassador positions available. I probably didn't put it in that way. I'm going to put the pair. I'm going to put what I wrote here. But I stretched the paragraph out as I kept sending it because I kept like thinking it needed to be a little more professional. And I put, I have such and such amount of followers on Instagram and such and such amount of followers on TikTok. And I would love to promote your hair for you. Are you looking for anyone to promote your hair? You don't have to put your following, but I feel like putting my following definitely was looking like okay she got some kind of following like that you gotta have more than 100 followers like you there's just they gotta know that you're gonna promote to somebody but not everybody's like that because they only care about the views on amazon unless you're a big time uh youtuber or it's Instagram or TikToker, then they gonna care about your views on social media. Only had one company care about that, so we're gonna keep going. Uh after you wrote your little paragraph, you copy and you paste that. And when I say you paste that, I mean you paste that on every Asian vendor that you find. To an extent, make sure they got some kind of following, make sure that they're not just posting pictures of Nicki Minaj or posting pictures of Ari and Jada and you know that they ain't get their hair from them. Then they posting pictures. You see a video or a picture of me, that ain't I ain't do that. I'm sorry. I only only one company. Uh you see the TikToker that you know didn't get that hair. Don't don't message them because they literally just taking people pictures. And then trying to profit and they're probably not even selling in real hair and they're gonna get your information for no reason just pointless i wouldn't do it so what you do if you want to find companies on instagram so you could, it's two different ways it's instagram and it's amazon let me back up because i know i'm confusing you hold on, hold on, hold on. it's two ways so we're gonna start with the instagram way on instagram type in your little search bar and put hair vendors amazon or you could put what did i put i think i put hair on amazon i put something like that in the comment i'm a right i'm gonna show a, a, a recording right here and then 
like a bunch of companies came up like on Amazon. Like I said, so and so here on Amazon. Um and I messaged like I just DM'd them, sent to them. Make sure they have pictures. Make sure, like I said, it's not them celebrities. Cause they didn't get their hair from the old Amazon. Uh make sure that people are liking their pictures. It's not just one picture and it's just up there with no likes. Make sure there's comments. Make sure you see people saying, Oh, I love it. Like like real comments, not like fake weird stuff and it's not like weird names and title and pictures not looking super ashy the video is not like, like it look like actual customers are are doing it yeah message them honey when they got following you see people that you know following this hair company that means people are buying from them and that means they sell to like like you may see like some hair models on some places but you really got to have a following for those ones that are like really really up there like um African wigs. They're really not gonna respond back because they're looking for people with a lot of followers that are gonna bring in something. Or like um Nadula hair or something like that. I mean I contact them but that don't mean they're gonna like like respond. Like I might not have enough followers for them. You may you may so it's just like you never know. It's like when it comes to the big companies, it's like you could do it, but you ain't wasting nobody's time because you never know. If they really looking for someone or not looking for someone. So give it a try, sis. Alright, number three. Let's move to the way you can do it on Amazon. So you can search in whatever hair you're looking for. Say you're looking for say you're looking for this right here. This is one of the ways I got for coming. Don't worry about it. I know it's dirty, but I wore it, toss it off, and put it in my wig drawer. No, act like you don't do that too. Like, so it's dirty. But okay, so this is a deep wave wig. Uh, so closure. It's dirty. Don't pay it on. I had it on. Um, this is what a four by four, and this is from. It don't say. It say human hair. Actually, I know what company this is by. I can't pronounce it. I don't think. Cause I know it's something with an S, and I can't really think of it. But I really like this company, and I really like this hair. Like this hair is like super soft when it came in. Like it's dirty right now, so it's, like, it's still soft being dirty. But I really, really, really like this hair, and like I didn't have to pluck that much. But I'm gonna put their name here. Message them. They be looking for people, so that's one right here, sis. But I had messaged them and I got a response like this. But let's let's be going. So I search in deep wave four by four closure here on Amazon. Bunch of companies gonna pop up. You looking for the ones that have less reviews and are like kind of new looking because they need people to review their product. And if they need people to review their product, they're going to send our product to get reviewed. So, once you contact the seller and you get, um, like you see they got a little bit of stars, a little bit of views, like a little bit of, may have like one or two views, like then you contact them. Like con you can push contact seller on Amazon and you could be like, oh, the same paragraph that you put on Instagram put it on there and it's just like if it happens it happens I didn't really get that many like response on Amazon I really got most of my responses on Instagram that's like where I got majority of my weeks not, not even majority I got all my weeks from from there I didn't really I only got one seller that contacted me back on Amazon so once you get their little response from Amazon or but a vendor on Amazon or the vendor on Instagram. They're same people, it's just they're on Instagram, like they're promoting business on Instagram. So you're not really supposed to be doing this. I feel like a lot of people don't say that in these how they got free hair videos. You're not supposed to be reviewing these wigs for these companies because it's basically like you're giving out false reviews. 
because they automatically and this is an this is this is number four you have to be patient with these people because they don't really speak english that well and they're kind of pushy and rude like we're just gonna be honest so be patient like when they send you the hair well when they tell you that like when they tell you oh okay yeah we're gonna approve you we, we want to work with you. We want to send you the hair or whatever. Oh, do you like this hair? They're going to send you a screenshot, which is the stupidest thing ever. Instead of sending you a link. I don't know why they don't send links, but they send screenshots. And they say, like, they don't, not really many cookies are going to send you long hair in the beginning. It's like, they, I don't know. Unless you got, I don't know. I mostly got. Uh, 20, 22s, 24s. I didn't really get no 30s, no 40 inches. I don't know. I don't got the final one like that, I guess. But once you, once they show you that screenshot, they want you to go search them keywords in on Amazon, screenshot it, and show it to them, which is stupid, but it is what it is. Because they want to know that their screen, their uh, keywords is popping up for people when they looking it up. Like I said, Deep Wave. Four by four closure. They want to know if they're gonna pop up at the top or not. So you have to show them and all that. Maybe a little confusing because you like I did that and they gonna be like no, you gotta put these words, not these words. Once you get past that part, and they finally be like yes, this is our company. Cause you screen, they want to screenshot to see that you're sending them the right, you're on the right page. And they be like they're gonna be like we're gonna give you a twenty inch body wave 13 by 4 and they tell you the price like how like they'll screenshot it show you what the price look like and then you send it back show them what it look like yeah you found it and they'll be like okay we're gonna send you the money maybe oh part five boom now it's time for the payments this is what people don't talk about people think Oh, I got hair for free. That means that they just sent me the hair and I didn't have to pay for nothing. That's a lie. What you got to do is very rare. I think I only didn't pay for the first. Well, you're not paying because you didn't get money back. But the first couple weeks that I had. My first couple. I had bundles at first. The first couple bundles that I had, which is the ones down here. And I had other ones. But I think I gave them away or I gave them mom or. I don't know. I made something to wait. When you first get that stuff, it's just like, either the company is going to be like, we're going to, you need PayPal. Sorry, that's another thing. Okay, we'll send you, I'll send you the money through PayPal. You'll accept it, you pay for it. And then when you pay for it, and it goes through, screenshot it to me. Like, when I say, like, thank you for your purchase from Amazon, screenshot that and send it back to the person who who you, the vendor is but this is the thing not every company is going to do that i feel like that's the most better way for me because i'm not spending my own money i mean it is coming out because paypal do take a little like fee because it's quick coming out your account and it's from a foreign country so they do like they pay attention to that too because i almost got i got stopped one time from doing it but so they take a little something so you paying like for like um a 22 inch wig i'm paying like two dollars for real for real because i had paid two dollars to get the money out of paypal or whatever basically uh is either that way or the company be like okay the wig is this amount i'll send you half now you buy the wig so you're paying half for the wig you paying for half of it out your own pocket and then you do your review, and when you've done your review, we'll send you the other half. I mean, that's the smartest decision for them because they'll know if you're really going to do it or not. They're, that's a safety thing for them to know if you're really going to do the review like you said you were, or you're just trying to try to get a free week without doing a review. So, you are going to have to take some money out your pocket. And this is what kind of irritated me because my money was just going back and forth because I was doing like four or five weeks at a time 
to where it was like money coming out, money coming out, money putting back in, money out, money. And I didn't want my bank to be alerted. And my PayPal account was alerted because they like, what you doing? 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 All these companies are sending you stuff. Why? Why are they sending you money? Some sending you holes, some sending you head. It's just like, and some companies will want you to pay for the wig up front, the whole thing. You review it, and then they send you the money for it. I don't really care for companies like that. I'd rather do the half one or the all send me the whole, because I'm not, I'm not dealing with y'all don't want to pay me for it. I just pay for the wig. I'm not doing it. So. After you done paid for it, and you screenshot and you send it to them, time to move on to the next step, which is waiting for the hair. The hair comes, and that's when they get a little pushy, because they're going to be like, okay, the hair come, or you may write them because you're excited, like, oh, the hair came, the hair came, I'm about to write my review, oh, pump to break, sis, because no, you're not. You do not write your review on Amazon the day that you get the package. I made this mistake. And that's how my Amazon started giving me a problem because they start being like, why are you reviewing hair and giving them five stars on the day you got them in the mail? Wait, 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 wait. What you getting into? What you getting into? So you get the hair. So you get the hair on Monday. You wait till Wednesday or Thursday to post your review. Do not post the day you get it. And I feel like do not post the day after. I always wait two days. After I had that one little weird incident when they wouldn't let me, they wouldn't. And I tell you, Amazon would not let me post my reviews for three weeks. They kept telling me no, no, no. It's going under an investigation. I didn't even know they do that for reviews. But I could post, I can review, like if I got some chips or something, because I wanted to see if it worked. Post some chips, yeah, I can review some chips, but I can't post a review for this hair when I want my money back. So that's when it gets a little frustrating because you want your money back. So, you want your money back, sis? Spread them out. If you want to do like three wigs, company, make sure you spread it out. I'm reviewing one week on Wednesday, I'm reviewing the other week on Saturday, I'm reviewing the other week on the next Monday, like, you know what I'm saying? And like, you gotta spread it out. And not only that, don't constantly doing it. I was doing this for like two months straight. That's why <laughs> all my accounts were investigated. I ain't blocked on nothing. I still can review on Amazon. I still can review on, I'm not still can get money through PayPal, but it was just a frustrating time to where I had to leave everything alone for a while. So, next thing is, are uh, you review the hair, or well, you're about to review the hair. This is another thing people don't tell you. When you review these hairs, make sure that your paragraphs are different. Because Amazon will pick up that you're saying, Ooh, love the hair. Everyone should go get it. It's so beautiful. I love the man. It's so thick. They want to start picking up that you're saying thick in every one. They're thick. The ends are full. The... The wig is wigging. If you keep saying the wig is wigging, they're going to be like, why is the wig wigging? And why you keep saying it for every wig company? It can't be all wigging. So you got to literally switch it up. I had to find other words for this word, density, and and, and coarse, and, and this here is full, but I'm going to look it up. Like, and then if, you have to change the words up. If you do not change the words up, Amazon is going to pick up that you are reviewing different wig companies and saying the same thing because I literally was posting the same thing and do not post one sentence two sentences because the company is going to get mad when I say they get mad they get mad they be like can you do it over can you do it over and they will keep bugging to do it over and don't give them no four reviews they want five stars when I gave a company four stars they were so mad at me because they gave them four stars the hair was rough let's just be honest it was rough and I was being honest, but that's not what they want to hear. They want it to be long. They want it to be good. They want to hear that their hair is beautiful. They want to hear that their hair is soft and it's nice. It's, 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 it's the best hair you ever had in your life. This is this is so beautiful. I'm going to wear it out the box. I'm, gonna, I'm about to color it. I'll let y'all guys know how it feel. I colored it. I bleached it. They want to hear it. 
So you better get the right and you better get to looking up the different verses. Okay, next step. As you done the deck, you contact that seller, screenshot your um once Amazon lets your stuff go through, um you screenshot your review and send it to the company and say that I reviewed your hair, here's my paragraph. And they some of them will say no, we don't like what you wrote, which is very rare, but they'll sometimes they'll be like, Oh, we don't like that, can you please do it over? And they're gonna bug you until you do it over, so just do it over. Um some companies, which I had um, a company that I worked with twice, I really love their hair. I got two closures from there, a red bob and this curly black hair. Um, they asked for some a little bit of different stuff. Like, I think them and one other company, they asked for a review on Amazon. Plus, they wanted a video and a picture on Instagram. I didn't get to where they asked me for TikToks, but I did make my own TikToks just so it's a post with their stuff in there. And they asked so you to like post it and they may repost your picture. They go on, they may follow most of the companies are gonna follow you and they, they want you to follow them back and like they'll be liking your pictures or whatever. And that's a good thing because you want a bond. You want it to where they keep asking you to review their hair. Which I had companies repeatedly ask me, but I just didn't want to deal with Amazon anymore with the whole making a pair of rows, but Spread it out, sis, and you'll be cool. Once you get that trust and that bond, you just keep getting that hair, sis. That's it. That's it. That's all. But I hope I, I said everything. My camera cut off, but I need to start. Um, I need to start writing stuff down when I'm doing these type of videos because. I literally be forgetting everything and then when I'm editing I'll be like oh I should have said this I should have said that um, but that's all I got you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe to me shouldn't even a cool this on this channel we will literally do everything girly we're gonna be gossiping story time makeup skincare self care vlogs hair videos I try to do a video today to do my hair and my makeup and all that but my my camera cut off and my lash is not on correct and I just got frustrated when I was doing my eyebrows my eyebrows I was only on my eyebrows because my point my hair took forever my hair is heat damaged now so we got to get this drawn back and I will literally show you how I'm gonna get my heat damage hair back to curly because I did it before I did it before and I'm gonna do it again and I'm about to color my hair red. When I do that, I'm, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna show y'all. But, I sound real ghetto. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow your girl. We out. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do?